So I'd like to talk a little bit about this uh, U.S. General four-drawer roll cart that I picked up. I was actually looking at the uh, five-drawer, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have one in red, and everything else I have is in red. So I went with the four-drawer, and I, I, I'm happy with it. It's fine. Uh, you know, quality-wise, it's definitely not, you know, American-made tool truck brand stuff, but for what I use it for in the shop, it's perfectly fine. Haven't had it very long. I picked it up with the uh, reasoning that just outside of the garage door there is a concrete pad, and I work on some larger stuff of mine, uh, pickup tractor, that kind of stuff. I don't always want to bring in the shop, so I can take this here and bring tools out to whatever I'm working on out on that concrete pad. It's pretty handy. Here in the top, we've got impact sockets. Um, as you can see, my collection isn't all that broad. Uh, but it does the job for what I need. Occasionally I'll pick up an extra one here or there. We've got screwdrivers. These are Harbor Freight Special. I, I picked these up as just extra screwdrivers. I have much nicer in the main toolbox. And then over here we've got some uh, ratchets and extensions and that kind of thing. Those two Craftsman uh, magnetic holders I wouldn't recommend. They sell them at Lowe's. I was trying to get something to put wrenches on top of the box there. And they just wouldn't hold. Not a not a very good quality, unfortunately. So I'd stay away from those if you're looking for something. In this drawer, we've got diagnostic stuff. I moved my code reader over here. I've got a uh, thermometer, a voltmeter, a test light, just basic diagnostic things. This drawer likes to stick. So you can hear that thing drop there. I'm not sure why it does that. We've got just some pliers, some picks. That's a small screwdriver there. About that drawer, it's been doing it since I purchased it, but you know, what do you expect? It's Harbor Freight. Uh, that's uh, parts and pieces for my welder and my plasma cutter, as well as a pair of welding pliers there. We've got metric and standard ratchet and wrenches. Those are Craftsman brand. Uh, an adjustable wrench that also has like a vice grip feature. That thing is super handy. Uh, made by Stanley. I definitely recommend that. And then uh, two pair of vice grip adjustable pliers. And then uh, my air tools. Impact, a ratchet, a die grinder, an air hammer, a cut off, and uh, uh, that piece there in the back it makes uh, one into three connections. This stuff is Northern Tool brand. It's fine for what I need. I'm not a professional mechanic. I've had the set for quite some time. Uh, I use an Ingersoll Rand compressor. Matter of fact, there it is over there in the corner. And uh, they work perfectly fine. In the bottom, I have my welding helmet and gloves. And on the side here, I've got uh, some spray lubricant, WD 40 kind of stuff. And uh, those are picks for gaskets and. Um, like O-rings and that kind of stuff. I use them a lot to change oil with. And of course, like most carts, people choose to get the side table, and I did that as well. I actually think I'm going to go back and get a second side table and have two on each side. As far as the construction of the box, you know, it's not the highest quality thing in the world, as I mentioned before, but it, it works. When you're assembling it, I'd be sure to uh, leave everything loose, tighten it up at the end. I makes it very difficult to try to get the box set up if not everything is loose when you're trying to set that uh, the drawers on top of the frame. Otherwise, I can't complain. I think it'll make life around the shop easier. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, as always, you can feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer them.